Alright, so we got translations for the full patch notes. The best unit in the game, Elaine, um, is coming tomorrow for JP. Single-handedly bringing back the King team. Um, I, I, ha I have um, Shoko, Speedy, Ant, and Ed on the call here to talk about really? Elaine. Okay. Everyone's waifu. Can you believe you they, they named yeah. uh, another named Elaine before another named Merlin? Can you believe we got another named Elaine before Grey Road? <laughs> <laughs> I do. And we just ended the seven hour stream. Um, some of the boys were with me through the majority of it. Especially Trofo. So, um, I'm very tired. If I sound dumb, that's half the reason why. Half, the other half is because I am dumb. <laughs> So I'm, I'm Grand Cross database. Uh, thank you for your translations. I think I told design Masu. Let's um, start with Elaine. Um, again, just like I said, she single-handedly is bringing back the King team, which I am gonna put my tail for hat, and I believe they made this Elaine because of global, because everyone's thinking of skipping King, and they were like, uh, King is not the best in the game. They so, saw our videos, huh? Yeah, they were like, oh, everyone's telling people to skip King. Um, so <laughs> CM Gold contacted the Korean devs, and he was like, "Lamao, make King Team best team again." And now, oh, King Team might just be the best team in the game again. It might just be. Yeah. There's a good chance. Oh, actually, my music is very loud. Well, there's a good chance King Team is the best team again. So, what does the link does? For each poison, bleed, shocker, corrosion, decreases penetration, critical rate, and critical damage by eight percent. Extreme deathmatch. And by her text, that means that she can be used in the back. So you can use Red Lilia, King, and Demon Handy, and third one you can apply all four effects. And the enemy can't cleanse, can't gain ultimate gauge, and will take a, a whole lot of damage every single turn, and they will basically not do damage to you. Wow, that sounds fun. Yeah, that sounds very fun. <laughs> uh, so what happens <laughs> is, really Askuner released two weeks ago, and now he is probably going to be PvP unviable. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go that I wouldn't far. Go that far. No, okay, you could, okay, could okay, one-shot okay. the this, Lilia. Right? Picture this, right? You, fa you face... Let's not say Red Lily in the front. Let's say they use Liz in the front. So now they have a revive, and they have shield. And stun. Think about it. It is if she works in the back. It, it, it doesn't does have any text. It doesn't she have does any text that back. says that she, she needs to be in battle. So she works in the back. Granted, if you have your own Liz, you can block the shield. You can block a lot of the debuffs. I if you if you go first. Okay, so King yeah. Team is gonna rely on going first. Yeah, but King has fifty five KCC, and probably Elaine is gonna also have fifty five KCC. She's a, she's a new main character, so they're probably gonna boost her stats by a lot. So there's a good chance King Team is best in the game again, and it's very unfortunate because. Everyone on Global is like, oh yeah, next festival, that's a skip, that's good, it's good, we're saving for the one. And then, I mean, but here's the thing, right? I mean, technically you can't skip and no, just pull King. No, but here, here's yeah. the thing, right? How many people are actually going to summon for a lane? Is she, is the, is she going to be like a predominant unit in PvP? I hope not. That's a, that's, a, that's a question, right? Because the one just came out. How, how are the odds that a lot of people are going to be summoning for like 600 gems for one copy of a lane? People who Honestly, like... they wail, so I feel like it might be. Yeah. Seeing how good she makes this team, I feel like people are gonna summon for her. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to summon for her with how good I mean, she makes this team. It's my it's my job. I have to say six, six her. Yeah. And give her like water here. I like how her first attack skill is called Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, she's a Christmas unit. She's the, the first Christmas, Christmas. I know, it's, just, it's just Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Here's a here's PvP meta broken again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. hmm. Here's the thing though, I feel like now with maybe with Elaine, a lot of things are going to be coming back, like uh, Hawk Liz. Valenti. Yeah, Valenti. Uh, what's it called? What else was it? Gother. I mean, Blue Gopher? Yeah. Yeah, if you use Blue Gopher and you go first, you can completely cock them. King Team basically useless if you go first with Blue Gopher. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. Honestly, I mean. I actually am glad that this unit is coming out because with that, that means the Ascari team won't be in every match. Because right now, if you play PvP, 
you either face Ascanor, Liz, Gopher, or you face Tarmiel, Estorosa, Gopher. Those are the only two yep. teams viable in PvP right now. So PvP is very boring right now because of that. Like, I, I've been trying to record videos with different teams, and is my Grand Cross or oh, is in Korea? My win loss right now is 10%, because I can't win it for like a, a fun team. I just can't. If you face Ascanor, you get obliterated. Or if you face Tarmio, you also get obliterated. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of a tough on PvP right now. My win loss ratio is actually like 14% or something. <laughs> it's, it's sad. Yeah. Um, can't change. You can't run a different team right now because of that. You can. You either, you either use Ascanor or use Tarmio. Those yep. are your only two options. So. Or you can use Sauriel as well. But like it, those are the teams that everyone uses because they're simple. You know? Regardless, I'm actually, I don't want to say I'm excited for a lane because that sounds weird, but I'm excited that they're making uh, a return for King because King became irrelevant, and that's sad. Like, he was the first festival to actually become irrelevant, so. <laughs> he actually was. Uh, yeah, you're, you're not <laughs> if you wrong. think about it, because mm -hmm. Lost Vane's still running around, Elizabeth exists, Elizabeth I think everywhere. she's still probably one of the best. Elizabeth events. is honestly the, like, the best festival overall. If you really yep. think about it, because Liz was in every meta since she came out. Every mm -hmm. single one. You can't go mm -hmm. wrong with having Liz in the front, having Liz in the back. You mm -hmm. just can't it, go King wrong with team, her. You're either using the front or back. And then when she came out, it was like her, Melly King. And like right before Ascalor came out, it was Lost Vein, Green Gopher, and Liz. Yep. You just can't Ugh. go wrong with Liz. Liz exists forever. I hate her so much. <laughs> She's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. I mean, the cards don't. I mean, this card matters because she does apply corrosion, meaning that if you use King Handy, you can apply poison, bleed, and shock, and then she applies corrosion. But. And her ultimate. Oh my god. Her the ultimate, ultimate has been hitting hard. Yeah, the ultimate is definitely If you have all of those up. Yep. So and yeah. it's AoE too? Yeah, no. This it, lane is, no, is actually. Is it AoE? She's actually insane. It's AoE? Yeah. I thought it was single target. Yeah, she's target. AoE. Oh, oh, no, that, dude, it, no. that's over. If, if she ults, you're dead. Mm-hmm. If I, I just woke She's up AOE. because it's cream. Oh. <laughs> if she ults her dead. Like actually. Yeah. Wow. I mean Especially King Team is not an ult rush on. team, really, but if she ults her dead. Yeah, this Elaine mm -hmm. is like broken. And for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> and she has cold destruction. Right. Oh. <laughs> Blue Gopher time. <laughs> Blue Gopher time. <laughs> I mean, Blue Gopher actually has the highest CC of all the gophers. He has like my gopher. Like my my gopher, I sim for gopher, right? He is full like full out. He has maxed costumes with everything upgraded. You are HP defense with almost 15% all the rolls. He has 53.1 KCC, I think, my green gopher. So that's nice, Hoggers. I guess. It's sad because with all that, if that was like a recent character, you'd be like 55 KCC, but gopher is old, so unlucky. I think it's enough for a lane. We got a... <clears throat> I thought it was a new chapter, I'm lucky it's not. We got no. a... This hockey... I don't like this hockey map, actually. Like the, Really? The... I do. I think it's funny. You think it? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's boring. Like, you just click hawk to go around, and then sometimes you get good stuff, and then you don't. I'm a child. I'm entertained. <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> Super boss, Gil Thunder. I actually also don't like this, because... No, not, not because it's Superboss itself, but because the reward for the Superboss is um, the DN, right DN outfit. Like, wh yeah. why is DN's Pretty outfit? Buns. It should have right been there, yeah. a Superboss outfit for Guild Thunder. Imagine how cool that would be. <sighs> That's what I thought Super it was going to be, too. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a, it's least. a big bummer yeah. that it's not a Superboss outfit for this three. The seven deadly sins are the only ones getting these outfits. Uh, did, I think, uh, I think like, Kaizu get one too? Like, no, that, yeah, no Kaizu, they didn't. He didn't get the costume. He actually, like, they, they gave it for, like, King. Like, a, um, a costume. Mm -hmm. That's really unfortunate. Like, like I think Gilfander is definitely worthy of a super boss. Uh, like, yeah, I think just so. by what he did in Season 1, I think he's definitely worthy of super boss. But, what can I do? Unlucky, yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna be, like, Taizu, where it's, like, super easy. And it's, like, for, it's, like, for beginners, these bosses. Like, just so they have a, have a few of super boss. Yeah. yeah. I actually like this, they get part 2 ticket. For my free to play account, it's gonna be huge. And, um... I mean, there's not much else to say. Yeah. The banner itself, is it good? 
No. No. No, it's not no. great. 0 0.25. You do get a free multi, which is decent. Oh, she's like a festival unit. She's like a festival unit. You get a free mm -hmm. multi. Yeah, I, I, honestly, actually pretty nice. Pretty for the black count here. 5 UR things. But... This is guarantee a 600. I mean, I don't. I don't. I, honestly, I only recommend summoning if you hate Ascanor and you didn't summon for him for some reason, but you love King. Reasons. Yeah, if you skipped Ascanor, like if you're like the 0.01% of players that skipped Ascanor, then I guess. <laughs> but it's such like it's so weird, right? Because if you summon for Ascanor, there's no way you have in free to play. There's no way you have gems to like 600 Elaine, you know. You have the new Elaine, the old red Elaine, Jenna, Zaneri, Blue Helber, which is like contender for like worst units in the game. Um, Amazing, the old Elaine, not the summon. You don't have her? Not the old, I see the one I'm missing. Oh, wait, what, what arf is this? Is this the uh, the blue arf, or is this the new one? Oh, this is Light of Hope, it's not the new one, unlucky. <clears throat> is it the blue one then? It's the blue one, okay. So another, f they have the three free units, Halbrum, Arthur, Matrona, that's neat. Have you realized how all the three uh, free units are blue? Is that yeah. coincidence? <laughs> Why do I feel like this is a bait banner for like uh, New Year's? Oh, like, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. No way, yeah. Uh, red like, there's Jericho. nowhere they're not bringing Gothra like, back. The, the red, uh, I'm sorry, Green Valenti, Red Lilia, and Blue Lilia, and Red Mono. Oh, blue, actually Blue Mono. So I'm definitely gonna no, that, it's it's green lily and red lily. Yeah, oh, it's green lily. Or... Mm -hmm. Is it? No, I yeah. think that's blue lily. No, it's green. It's green mastermind. Turn. Mastermind lily. Mastermind. mastermind mage lily. Oh wait, her just name is just mage lily. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mastermind uh, lily. Mage lily. Ah. Oh. The banner sucks. <laughs> the banner's really bad. The yeah. banner. It's not worth summoning. It just isn't. Uh, if like I'm gonna summon because I have to, but like if I was like a regular player, I just wouldn't. Uh, you do get the free multi pog if you pull like her or Red Lilia. That's nice. I'm getting her free multi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is okay, nice for dude. me because uh, I need okay. the the forty percent foods for a free to play account. And then uh, oh PVP rewards, just play fifteen matches and get these. That's neat. And you get I win. take the new war stones. Have to win. Yeah. Yeah. They're updating rewards for Bra, like the the chest you get if you be, if you play three matches or win three matches. Now you can get a purple stone. So that actually they actually want you like you get a purple stone. So where can coin here? They actually really want you to play, but mm. the game mode sucks. Um, if you play if you beat up to like chapter twelve, you get these rewards like thirty gems, and that's neat. So tomorrow everyone gets thirty gems. Then. Uh, SSR, Okume Gacha up, up rates on SSR is nice. Have stamina for first stage and boss, is it whatever? This is the hawk stuff. I actually, I I, I think this stage is so boring. <laughs> I don't like it that much, but <laughs> you can get uh, the the Merlin. Look outfit. at her, the queen. Oh, this is gonna be huge for the player account, Pog. <laughs> um, the outfits for Elaine. I feel I feel bad looking at these. Why is the third one like that, bro? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> She's so Why? clearly meant to be like adult Elaine, even in her art, but her model is still like normal Elaine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, can you not? It's like a long it? hair Elaine, but this one has short hair, so Pog. Oh, they made uh... the like the um the uh oh, you know that the, the that outfit the free to play one sort of. Which you mm -hmm. buy with gems. Uh, the, these outfits are coming back, so you can actually get the the demon extra thing. I still don't have those. Uh, don't care. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the PvP rules, right? Inflicts ca damage caused by shock, bleed, and poison by 50%. Oh, come on. Are will you that, kidding me? Will that activate into the ultimate of doing the 60% yes. and then 50% more? Probably. <laughs> they they really want you to the same nice. lane. And then the following one, uh, basic stats for RS 45%. That's, oh, that's going to be Pog. That's, that's going to nice. be Pog. I like that. Yeah. And then um, increase HP for our between five percent. This is unfortunate because it just stall matches. Okay, so uh, if uh, if not able to buy the uh, okay okay, bro, AI settings don't care. Actually, it, it improves the AI settings, but honestly, I don't care. Like yeah, 
Brawl just sucks. The only way of making it not suck if you, is if they latch or actually play the match and not be auto. But I guess you can, can like make a pattern out. now for the play, which is neat. And uh, equipment doesn't fail anymore. Huge. Huge. Equipment does not fail anymore. Yeah, I love equipment it. Oh, upgrade yeah. will no longer fail. Huge. When using continuous upgrade, you can choose an up until you want. So, remember like before this update, which, which is now still, that it would take like two hours to fully upgrade a full set of gear? Now it won't. Neat. <laughs> Thank God, bro. It mm -hmm. literally took an hour to upgrade a whole, like, Yeah, game. it took so long. I took the bosses at once to three and all playable. Oh, it adds playable stages. What? You can never raise words. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It's neat. What does that mean? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I know what it means, but, like, what? Huh. <laughs> what does it okay. really mean? <laughs> Thanks to the issue of my grave, my equipment does not show great. Okay, I don't care. So, the main thing is... The lane's broken. This Why is bait. Are PvP rules back, man. No. This is bait. Yeah, I'm kind of sad about that. Yeah, I'm kind of sad PvP rules are back. It was like a good for like few months where no PvP rules were applied. This is bait. I think this is definitely bait. I agree. You know what? Bait. You know what? 100%. I'm gonna put on the table right now. Next festival is uh, assault mode. Assault. The yeah. next, the uh, next uh, thing that comes uh, yeah. out is gonna counter the king team. Watch. Mm -hmm. yeah, assault Nelly. Okay. Assault yeah, Nelly yeah. is gonna be green, and he's gonna be immune to debuffs. And... Something like that, or remove yeah. all debuffs. No, like he's debuffs gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be immune to debuffs and two hundred percent crit resistance. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it's just gonna be a stop Nelly who can one v four teams. I mean, we'll see, but I mean, just being a lane just tell you to not summon. So, unless you are. Um, <clears throat> a bond. Huh? Um, yeah, Troco. Unless you're Troco. Mm -hmm. Square up speed. I just hit my hand really hard. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.